What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about battery tenders slash battery chargers, but mostly battery tenders. Uh, this one just happens to be two in one. Um, I haven't ever really done a video on the NOCO that I did buy before this. So this is the NOCO uh, Genius. This one is the GB70. This has been a lifesaver in more than one occasion, specifically for my Tahoe when I have the dash cam accidentally plugged in to the USB on the cigarette lighter. Uh, it just kills it. So what this thing does is, this one's charged. I uh, just finished charging it. You can hook this up to your car. You can charge it so that you can get a, uh, it's like a jump starter basically. It's very, very good to have. fucking joking. I swear two drops of pee and maybe a little poo just came out from that noise. Um, it's very good to have one of these. It, it can't really go wrong in my opinion because you never know when you're gonna need a jump start and this is a solo jump start. So that's cool to have. Then I did a video once upon a time on my Hellcat because there's just a triple pump and all these other things going on and it just needed a triple charger, basically a maintainer, which I ended up actually um, putting on the Trackhawk recently because it's been sitting for a little bit longer due to winter and salt and all this other stuff. Uh, yes, I do have a box here and that is because I usually leave everything draped so I don't have to worry about crushing anything on my hood or destroying my hood for that matter. So um, basically what you do with the Trackhawk is you have a negative post here, you have a positive post here. You plug everything in to wherever you want. I hook this up and I have a little foam that drapes over so I know I got good no issue contact and you just hook up your negative and your positive and you have it plugged in so in the beginning it'll say it's charging then eventually it'll say fully charged so that's been helping me uh there is another thing that i've been wanting to try apparently i've had this it's a uh you can charge off that thing that main battery and this is battery tender makes this where you can actually plug into that uh, actual unit and charge through the obd which is cool, but I get worried because they always have all these warnings. If it goes over 3 amps or th if it's not under 3 amps, it could cause damage, blah, blah, blah. So I never really even tried that. Uh, this has just been sufficient for me. But then I was thinking I like to always spend money for no reason. That's just kind of what I do. And then I found this. This is the G3500. I have not even opened this yet. I've been waiting to uh, make this video. <laughs> box just farted at me which is cool so I don't know why they uh, did <clears throat> did that box for no reason so this is a totally sealed up so apparently this is a battery charger and a maintainer and it's good for 6 volt or 12 volt batteries I guess it could charge anything really so maintain all battery sizes twice as fast this unit right here uh, you can fast charge. So this unit is a 3.5 amp. That's why it's going to connect to my battery. Uh, normal, it's got cold or AGM. So it can do normal batteries, AGM batteries. Um, so it's it's pretty good. It's smaller. I just want to give it a go. See what I like and don't like about it. And, uh, you know, go from there. And then another. So pretty tiny unit that's what she said all right doesn't really have a lot of weight to it it looks very simplistic it has wall mounts so if you wanted to you could put four different screws and what i like about this is these seem a little bit more heavy duty than uh the ones on battery tender one so we're going to plug this in, hook this up to the battery. Let's see what this looks like and uh, go from there. So this is kind of sort of what I'll be doing for a while uh, if it works. You just hook it up here. It's just draped across. Um, 
what we got here is it's plugged in nice securely all terminals are good I know everything's gonna be fine with the hood I'll be able to shut the hood without you know there being like a super uh, compressed issue so that's nice and uh, let's just plug this in see what this does hopefully it doesn't just kill my car before I put the thing on I tried to read the instructions and they're honestly about as clear as mud so from what I gathered there's a couple modes here there's standby mode which is where you're at right now then there's 12 volt uh, regular size up to 3.5 amps right um, then there is normal and cold normal and cold and then there's a lithium mode over here so apparently you push this you can go to normal cold normal cold and if you want to go into the other settings here for like lithium and then they even have a repair option which somebody said was to desulfate the battery or something obviously I don't have an old or damaged battery I'm basically just gonna probably put it into this mode and I was told from the few videos I've watched it's gonna start out in 25% it's gonna say that it's 25% and apparently what that's gonna do is it's just gonna keep going through it's gonna check the battery it's just gonna make sure everything's copacetic with it and then it's gonna just start slowly rising up so it's gonna go from 25 to 50 then to 75 it'll probably stay at 75 for a hot minute because it's probably 90% I would assume so then once it gets to 100% it'll go to 100% so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave this plugged in I'm gonna see what's what's really hood with this thing everybody seems to really like this seems like if it's just a matter of pushing the button that that would be a cool uh, scenario what I liked about this unit was there are no buttons it just plugs in it says 12 volt push done um, that's really cool like I said, the other ones felt way more um, thick, <laughs> thick girl, way more confidence inspiring. I do really want to test out the uh, OBD port. All you have to do is unplug that and son of a gun. Now I got to plug it back in. Oh, oh, come on. So this is actually a still viable option. I will test the OBD2 port out in another video. This this video is be oh look. See, it's already these lights are not flashing for me by the way. Um that 25% is solid and the 50 is slow blinking, but obviously because the camera's picking up some kind of weird LED thing. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like, I will test this. I'm going to actually message my engine builder and see if this is stupid. I really don't want to plug anything into the OBD. You know, now that we're messing around and we've got a tune on this car and there's going to be even more tuning done to this car, that's where the tuning goes into the car. So it's kind of like I get freaked out probably for no reason whatsoever. But it does say in many, many videos, don't go past three amps. Damage can occur. Um, so obviously this unit at 3.5 amps could never really work. Um, but what's cool about this is I'm able to ensure that my battery is solid. Now, I don't have battery problems. What I did notice is that because of the air suspension, I sit on these when I'm parked, usually at preset low or preset, um, when I pull out of here, I go to preset high. So for instance, if I'm on preset low, I have to air up to preset high, and then I leave so I can clear my ramps and I can exit my driveway without having any issues. What happened a couple times is when the car sat for a week or so, which it tends to do that once in a while. I, I don't want to admit that, but it does. So the issue I was having was that it's giving me a situation now where on my airlift controller, it was giving me a fault of low voltage. As soon as I turned the truck on, pulled it out and was idling, I could air up and it was no issues whatsoever. So I'm assuming just it's sitting for so long, uh, not starting 
and it being off of a completely still battery, what was ending up occurring here was that uh, it was just taking too much voltage and the battery needed to be having the car running. So it's not like a serious thing, but for the health of the battery, it is winter um, and it is sitting. Now this vehicle will not sit for too long and sometime within the next month or so at most, it's going to rip it again uh, a lot a lot <laughs> when i tell you a lot a lot is being changed so we'll have videos and updates on that a lot more to talk about on that but for now this is what we got so this is moving quite rapidly again uh 25 50 and 75 are all solid colors so you've got red not as much red slightly orange and then orange and then green so the green is the only one that's actually um blinking so like i said it's somewhere between 75 and 100. I'm sure once it gets to 100, it's going to stay solid. And then at that point, I'm just going to leave it. It's just going to stay on the car. I'm going to leave it overnight, check it out in the morning, see how it is, and uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't think there's going to be any problems. NoCo, this brand, especially with the Genius brands, with those, it, they've got a very good reputation. I've had no issues with them whatsoever. So that's pretty much the end of that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for staying supportive. It means a lot. Uh, that's about it, guys. This is what it is. Again, it's the Genius 3500. Well, the Genius G3500. G for Genius, duh. Battery charger. It says charger, but when you order it, it also says maintainer. Uh, it does do recovery, repair, I don't know, it's in French, I believe, so it's got a lot of stuff, but it will do a lot of different batteries. Uh, it says right here, ATVs, lawnmowers, motorcycles, cars, trucks, boats, and more, up to 120 amps, uh, batteries of all sizes. So it's actually worth it. Uh, I think somebody said they paid 70 bucks for it. I paid about 90. Like there was some clickable coupon that was, I don't know what it was, but it was on Amazon. I'll link to this product in the description below if you want to get it anyway thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one everybody stay blessed stay safe and be careful out there